never expected to run into one of my old school flames, who's like any other school flame. Even though she's a narrow-minded, uptight, and snobby bitch, because she was raised to be that way, but uh, I say this with respect. It wasn't long before things started stirring up in my head. I started to reminisce to bugs about the old times with honey. Then something happened to me. Kind of like what became an obsession. I began to wake Bugs up in the middle of the night to talk to him about her. He suggested that I call her, except he doesn't know one thing, that uh, Honey is angry with me. And uh, our relationship ended with an argument. She slapped my face, and for two weeks I had the outline of her hand on my cheek. Well, I'm sorry, Max. I'm a bubble brain. Hmm. Oh, that honey light foot can be a real bitch sometimes. What a mixed up girl. Gee. Everything I tell her goes in one pierce ear and out the other. Yeah, girls can be a real pain. I guess that's why I like them so much. Hmm. You know, this reminds me of the trouble I had with girls while going to school. Thanks to Butch Thorman. Who's Butch Thorman? Come on, you remember Butch Thorman, that, that big tough guy with the crew cut and the, the personality of a tree stump? Oh, that guy, yeah. Well, what about him? What? what about him? I failed a lot of tests in school because of him. <laughs> well, what did he do? When it comes to intense studying, I have to have complete and absolute silence. With a guy like Butch Thorman sitting beside you, that's impossible. I mean, just because a guy gets bored of tests doesn't mean he has to deprive another guy of his education. Well, what did he do? Dumb things like making me laugh during a test session. How did he do that? By pretending to be having epileptic seizures in his eye. Suppressed. Please? I said, get lost. I can tell you're angry with me. That's okay, I forgive you. You forgive me? You're cute when you're angry. It's humiliating. Yeah, I'm gonna be gorgeous in a minute. I like to see that. Why should I beg someone? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sir! What about the check? Right, well... You. You know what your problem is? I think something's missing from your life. What's that? Me. Well, is that so? Well, I think there's something missing from your life. What's that? I left home. I'm not catering you around anymore. You can walk home. Now, I'm going to your place, and I'm going to meet you there. And you better be a fast walker. Bye. Why won't she leave me alone? Walk a mile in my shoes. I don't know what you're complaining about, Bugs. You don't have to be alone. I mean, call up a girl. You can't just call up a girl. You gotta know her first. Well, call up a girl you know. I don't like any of the girls I know. I only like the girls you know. Well, I'll call up one of my girls. I can't. I don't know them. Ah, what's the use? I'm the strikeout king of Chicago. I'm a disgrace to my sex. Bugs, Bugs, Bugs. Get your chin off your chest before you cave it in. Well, it's true. I haven't had a date in four years, if you don't count the time I threw up on the Ferris wheel. Well, yes, I did have a date once, but the school librarian was no fun. I tried to kiss her and her glasses locked. Oh, do you like to be called Bugs? My name is Chester. Chester Gilbert Crutchet, not Bugs. I don't study insects anymore. I forgot everything I've ever known about insects. Beetles, crickets, grasshoppers. Spiders. Max, a spider is not an insect. A spider has eight legs. An insect has six. Didn't you know that, Max? Chester, will you call Candy? Oh, no. Oh, yes. No, forget it. Remember it. Who's going to make me? Me. Who? Me. Who says who? Says me. Okay, I just uh, wanted to know. Well, ask. I'll ask, but I know she'll turn me down. Girls don't like short guys. You don't know what it's like being short. You don't know what it's like to, to kiss a girl on the throat goodbye. Did you know that the only parade I ever saw was the one I was in? You don't think I took out all those library books for reading, do you? I was thinking of buying lists for my shoes, but I'm afraid of heights. 
If you love Candy, and I know you do, you'd call her. Well, I think I love her. Every time I'm around her, I get all goose pimply. I'm either in love with her or I have smallpox. You look very beautiful in the moonlight. Thank you. I can see every facial hair. I feel funny. I feel the same. Isn't it great? Friends shouldn't drift apart, even when they make new ones. Hmm. Let me reunite our friendship. We should keep your hands to myself. Here's Al. I wonder you were the only guy in cooking class. <clears throat> First place, I'd like to uh, thank you from the bottom of my mouth. And uh, second place, I'd like to remind you that we are not in the uh, parking lot of the school prom. And uh, and in third place, if, uh, if you don't stop this, I'm going to have to report you to Captain Kangaroo. Oh, stop treating me like a child. My parents do, too. Well, I'm not. Forget it, Rainbow. <laughs> Oh, what a dozy, neurotic broad. Well, I don't know about girls, Max. I don't know what to say or, or what to do or, or what not to do. Bugs, didn't your father tell you about girls, the facts of life? Yeah, my father told me about the facts of life. But I got nauseous and threw up on them. All that talk about female organs and, and male organs and the things they do. It's disgusting. Well, that's the way it's done. Swell. You can start playing the rest. The bag's broke, and there's garbage all over the place. The top of garbage bags. I believe that commercial. I think she trains her dogs to do that. You're paranoid. I am not. Just that she hates me. We've been out of school for a year. That's one year counted one, yet you still don't have a job. Well, who's counting? Three more days, it'll be exactly a year ago today that we graduated. June 15th, 1958. Don't get technical. I know exactly where you're gonna get, get a job. Good chance of getting one anyway. Where? Right where I work, John's Motors. No way. What do you mean, no way? What does no way usually mean? It means if you don't get a job, I'll take your tonsils out through your ears. <laughs> 